Today we delve into 7 frequently overlooked habits that can unknowingly undermine your chances with women. Understanding and addressing these behaviors can make a significant difference in your dating life. So let's dive deep into these essential aspects of attraction and learn how to stand out for the right reasons. To start off with, first impressions matter immensely in the world of dating. Your grooming habits extend far beyond superficial appearances. They reflect your self-respect and how much you value the time and company of those around you. Neglecting basic self-care is a red flag that communicates a lack of effort and consideration. It's not just about looking good, it's about presenting yourself as a mature, responsible, and thoughtful individual. Consider this, when you show up disheveled and smelling like yesterday's workout, it sends a message that you couldn't be bothered to make the minimal effort required for a date. In essence, poor grooming habits say, I don't value your time or my own appearance. This is hardly the impression you want to leave. Second up is neediness and clinginess, are two habits that can quickly douse the flames of attraction. Bombarding a woman with constant messages, hovering around her like a persistent shadow, or making her the sole focus of your life sends a clear message. You lack independence and a sense of self. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect, trust, and space for personal growth. When you become overly needy or clingy, it indicates that you don't have a life outside of her, which can be overwhelming and unattractive. To stand out in the dating world, demonstrate that you are a whole, well-rounded individual with your interests, hobbies, and a life that doesn't revolve solely around her. Thirdly, while confidence is an admirable trait, crossing the line into arrogance and self-centeredness can be a deal-breaker. Confidence that radiates naturally doesn't need constant validation. It speaks for itself through your actions. However, if every conversation turns into an opportunity to boost your ego by discussing your accomplishments, possessions, or how amazing you are, it's a clear sign of self-centeredness. Authentic confidence is about being comfortable with who you are and showing genuine interest in others. Engage in meaningful conversations, ask about her experiences, and find common ground to connect on. When you're the only one talking about yourself, you're essentially leaving no space for her, and this can be off-putting. Remember, mutual respect and genuine interest in each other are the cornerstones of successful dating. Number 4. Aggressiveness is a trait that can undoubtedly put a damper on your romantic pursuits. It involves behaviors such as pushing boundaries, invading personal space, and exerting undue pressure, which all scream run away to anyone on the receiving end. It's important to understand that assertiveness and aggression are not the same, and the former can be attractive, while the latter is a significant turnoff. Let's delve deeper into why being too aggressive can sabotage your chances in the dating arena. First and foremost, aggression disrupts the natural flow of a relationship. When you push boundaries or invade someone's personal space, it creates an atmosphere of discomfort and unease. Rather than feeling relaxed and enjoying your company, the other person may feel on edge, as if their boundaries are not being respected. Instead of being a source of comfort and security, you become the source of stress and tension. Moreover, aggression can be a sign of a lack of emotional intelligence. It reveals an inability to read social cues and understand when someone is uncomfortable or when their boundaries have been crossed. This lack of sensitivity can leave a lasting negative impression, making it unlikely that the other person will want to spend more time with you. The fifth one would be respecting boundaries, which is a fundamental aspect of any relationship and ignoring them is a surefire way to derail your romantic prospects. Whether you're invading personal space, delving into topics she's not ready to discuss, or pressuring her into something she's uncomfortable with, ignoring boundaries shows insensitivity and a lack of consideration. To succeed in the dating world, it's crucial to pay attention to her signals and respect her personal space. Crossing her boundaries signals that you're more interested in getting your way than treating her as a human being with her feelings and comfort. No one enjoys having their emotional or physical space trampled upon, so make it a priority to listen when she talks, respect her personal boundaries, and handle her feelings with care. When you create an atmosphere where she feels respected, understood, and valued, you can significantly enhance your chances of building a connection that can lead to something meaningful. Next up, vulnerability and emotional openness are vital in any relationship, but oversharing too soon can be overwhelming and counterproductive. Imagine meeting someone for the first time and they start unloading their deepest traumas and struggles as if they were tossing confetti. While sharing is essential, it's equally crucial to let the sharing process evolve naturally. Building trust and emotional intimacy takes time. 
Instead of unloading everything about your life in the first few interactions, take it slow, share your thoughts and experiences gradually, and allow the connection to develop organically. Yes, it's important to be vulnerable, but it's equally important to provide space for both of you to get to know each other at a pace that feels comfortable. Keep some cards close to your chest and let curiosity and connection grow steadily over time. This approach not only fosters a deeper bond, but also avoids overwhelming your potential partner. And the final one would be constantly seeking validation and showering someone with gifts or excessive attention can often backfire when it comes to dating. These behaviors, while well intentioned, can have the unintended consequence of pushing the person you're interested in away, potentially relegating you to the dreaded friend zone. The issue at hand here is that trying too hard often signals underlying insecurities and a lack of authenticity. Insecurity is seldom an attractive trait, and when you try too hard to impress someone, it sends a clear message that you lack confidence in yourself and your inherent worth. It's as if you're saying, I don't believe that I'm good enough as I am, so let me go to extraordinary lengths to win your approval. Authenticity, on the other hand, is magnetic. Being comfortable in your own skin and allowing someone to see the genuine you is infinitely more appealing than attempting to put on a facade or desperately seeking validation. Furthermore, excessive efforts to win someone over can become overwhelming. While showing interest and affection is undoubtedly important, overextending yourself can feel suffocating to the other person. Striking a balance between demonstrating your affection and respecting their personal space and independence is crucial. People are drawn to individuals who appreciate and understand the importance of these boundaries. Moreover, trying too hard can lead to the perception of inauthenticity. When you constantly bend over backward to impress someone, it becomes challenging for them to discern your true self amidst the theatrics. Authenticity is fundamental in building a genuine connection with someone. It allows them to understand who you are at your core. Lastly, going to great lengths to impress someone early in a relationship can set unrealistic expectations. It may establish a dynamic where you feel obligated to maintain a facade, which is unsustainable in the long run. Authentic, healthy relationships are built on mutual understanding, acceptance, and the freedom to be your genuine self. Addressing these seven masculine habits that turn women off can significantly enhance your dating prospects. It's not about changing who you are, but rather about being the best version of yourself. By respecting boundaries, being genuine, and showing confidence without arrogance, you'll not only stand out in the dating world, but also increase your chances of forming meaningful connections with the right individuals. If you found this comprehensive discussion valuable and insightful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more thought-provoking content. Remember, the key to successful dating is being the most authentic version of yourself. Best of luck on your journey to meaningful connections!